Scientists investigating the mass grave found at Oaklawn Cemetery say DNA analysis that is the next big step in finding out whether the remains are connected to the Tulsa race massacre. Thank you for staying with us. I'm Shannon Rousseau. I'm Brian Dorman. They say that it is still too soon to say for sure, and now they're asking for the public's help. News on 6's Amy Slanchik joins us now live with new details. Amy? Brian and Shannon, we found out tonight the city already hired a DNA analysis company out of Utah for the work. DNA from 14 individuals is already on the way to Utah right now. We're not sure when it was sent or how it's getting there. That nonprofit company, Utah Cold Case Coalition Intermountain Forensics, says it is honored to do the work and expects it to take several months. The city is asking anyone who may have relatives from the 1921 massacre to reach out to the company and we'll be sure to post that contact information on our website. Other big news out of tonight's meeting, archaeologists are recommending going back to Oaklawn to do more excavation work. They also want to go back to New Block Park and the Canes area, which is a homeless encampment just west of downtown along the Arkansas River. Several members of the Public Oversight Committee expressed concerns about not investigating every single individual that was found at Oaklawn. Here's what anthropologist Dr. Phoebe Stubblefield had to say. We recovered one black male with evidence of multiple gunshot wounds, who's buried in a plain casket. There is a strong likelihood that when we return, we will recover the others like him that we have in our documentation, our documented history. We have gone further than ever in revealing this history. Now the full final report released tonight is more than 1000 pages long and just skimming through it tonight. We've been able to look at what some of what was found underground last summer. Things like an old safety pin, a fork, a bullet and this 1923 $1 silver certificate. Silver certificates were issued by the US government between 1878 and 1964 and allowed people to trade them in for silver coins. So there's a lot more to discover in this full report going forward as we learn more about our history. Amy Slanchik, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.